Did you hear about the Trump civil fraud trial in New York? Apparently, it's for $250 million, and it just wrapped up. I was reading that the Trump Organization's financial statements might not just be false, but part of a bigger pattern of financial fraud and tax cheating dating back to the 1990s. It's interesting that Trump's financial misrepresentations weren't a trial focus, but they seem to be a way to cover up his business failures. Turns out, Trump's financial troubles started with the bankruptcy of his Taj Mahal casino in 1991, and then there were five more bankruptcies. After all those business failures, Trump couldn't get legitimate funding, so he turned to tax evasion and business fraud. In 1992, the Trump family created a fake company to dodge gift taxes, its classic tax fraud. I learned that creating sham companies for tax evasion is a common trick. Even Trump's sister resigned as a judge over this. The New York Times hinted at more Trump tax evasion patterns, but it seems like they weren't fully investigated by the IRS. Trump also raised funds questionably, like with the Trump Soho project, which reportedly had Russian money involved. Don Jr. and Ivanka were involved in a scheme selling Trump Soho condos, lying about sales numbers. The Manhattan DA didn't indict Don Jr. and Ivanka for the Soho fraud after a campaign contribution to the DA's re-election. The Trump organization likely faked financial statements when Russian money dried up, needing legitimate funding sources. In 2014, the Trump Organization leased the old post office in D.C., needing legit funding from Deutsche Bank for the deal. Trump's inflated financial statements were used to get better loan and insurance rates and to cheat on taxes. They even used these false statements for a tax break on a property donation, reducing Trump's taxes by over $3.5 million.